if you have a sadness for a specific reason like you had and you hit that rock bottom if you choose the positive do you think if you choose the positive feelings before you start going down quickly uh that you can get yourself out of that depression faster than if you just hit bottom and like sometimes mm -hmm. most times so most it's times. Kind of, so like sometimes it's like sitting in traffic that's an easy one right so like you're that. sitting in traffic and you're like oh you feel that frustration you go feel that right there we don't want to do that so right right then you can kind of steer the ship a little bit and you know like, the book you know like what do you think you will have if you were not sitting in traffic oh peace comfort great now we've got to speak to ourselves in the peace and comforting terms to yeah. to enroll that state in you you know so you're right absolutely um sometimes things just hit you so hard and you get knocked off but if you train yourself even when you do get knocked off you can mm -hmm. get back up quicker when he got diagnosed with cancer yeah. in march i was convinced that we could still save him of course of course but, you always have that absolutely but it had metastasized into his liver and lungs and bones and everything it was everywhere stomach it was everywhere and I, if I have a regret about the way I handled the Michael situation is that I, if I had been able to be more balanced, I could have given a more comfortable ending as opposed to me going, Michael, we can fight this, Michael, we can fight this, and him also needing that hope, so he also wanted to, but I wouldn't have pushed him so hard. I pushed him pretty hard to try to get care and, you know, like, hey, like, we can do this take this holistic medicine you right. know I, you know use this medication that i got you know whatever um to try to really fight it um mm -hmm. and i think that i wish i would have been softer with him 